This is truly a year to celebrate. We are proud to say that Asociación Armonía, after successfully managing the Blue Throated Macaw Nido Adoptivo program for 16 years, on April 9th, 2021, the 100th Blue Throated Macaw chick fledged from our nest box into the wild. The Armonía Blue Throated Macaw program has assisted the fledging of almost a quarter of the critically endangered Blue Throated Macaws in the wild with an estimated total population of around 450 individuals and climbing. Actually, by the end of the 2021 breeding season, 105 blue-throated macaws have fledged into the wild. The Nido Adoptivo nest box support through Bird Endowment had sponsored 75 nest boxes, where 10 nest boxes were occupied by blue-throated macaws with a total of 13 breeding attempts. Three nest boxes were reoccupied after a failed nesting attempt. A total of 29 eggs were laid, 15 chicks hatched, and 12 chicks successfully fledged. This graph shows the success of the program over 16 years. The orange line represents the number of blue-throated macaw chicks fledged from nest boxes each year. The blue line shows the number of nesting attempts in nest boxes each year, which is clearly increasing as new pairs take to nest boxes and young birds learn to be proper parents. We banded the chicks that fledged from our nest boxes. These are chicks banded this year. Guess what we are going to call this macaw? Nine banded macaws attempted to breed this year, two more than the previous year. Also, the 2021 breeding season was the second largest breeding season, lasting 191 days from December 15th to June 23rd. During the breeding period, Armonia placed five camera traps at selected nest boxes with blue-throated macaws in order to better understand the breeding process, identify potential nest predators, and to see how we can improve the nest boxes. Twelve blue-throated macaws fledged from six nest boxes in the 2021 breeding season. Earth Limited at Southwick Zoo sponsored a nest box which fledged two chicks on the second nesting attempt. The parents both had leg bands, meaning they had fledged from one of Armonia's nest boxes in the past. Facebook Group 3 sponsored nest box GV3, which fledged two chicks on April 13th. The first egg of the 2021 breeding season was laid in this nest box on the 15th of December and initiated the breeding season. One breeding individual was banded. Karen Justice sponsored a nest box with the initials MJ, which a banded pair on the second attempt raised two chicks which fledged on June 23rd. We did not have a camera trap on this nest. Bob Gittimer sponsored a nest box which raised two chicks. The two chicks fledged around April 12th. Ray Varela sponsored a nest box which fledged two chicks around April 20th. This nest, for a long period, had one chick significantly smaller than the other, and there was concern it might die. We decided to let the parents choose the right course of action, and in a few weeks it started to gain weight. They both fledged the nest together. And the Patterson family sponsored the nest box with the initials DMS, another nest box with banded parents that had fledged from a previous Armonia nest box. The two chicks fledged around April 9th. This nest produced the 100th chick that fledged from Armonia's nest box program since it started in 2005. Camera traps allow us to observe natural behavior we might not see when in the field. Clearly, the nest boxes are of interest to many birds, as we can see dusky-headed parakeets checking out a box. White-eyed parakeets also showed interest in this box until they learned it was occupied. Here we see chestnut-fronted macaw and black-bellied whistling ducks looking into a box when there are blue-throated macaw chicks inside. Clearly, when the parents are present, they don't want to share the box with other visitors. Camera traps will also help us understand nesting failure. On this day, we found blue and yellow macaws with an unhealthy curiosity for one of our nest boxes. We suspect that some nesting failure is caused by the competition between the blue-throated macaw and the blue and yellow macaw. 
and a new com complication appeared this year with a pair of red and green macaws extremely attracted to our nest boxes, destroying the entrance holes to four nest boxes and eventually breeding in one box. The red and green macaw is more of a forest species, so they are not seen to directly compete with food resources with the blue-throated macaw. We only recorded this tropical screech owl using the nesting box as a perch. As with last year, we found one adult will stay with recently hatched chicks through the night. Camera traps show what we believe to be the main part of the diet is the motoku palm fruit, as they are seen here eating the pulp around the seeds. By using the camera traps, we had hoped to catch the chicks learning to fly, but appears they remain in the box until the day they finally leave the nest, never to return. As we recorded in 2020, it appears the parents, to entice the chicks to leave the nest, stop feeding them. These parents for days refuse to visit their mature chicks at the box, instead perching nearby and waiting for their hunger to motivate them to leave the security of home. At the Laney Rickman Bluetooth and Macaw Reserve in May, you could see parents teaching their recently fledged chicks where to forage on the reserve for food. We can relate to how this adolescent chick would have rather slept in during this hot day. Please consider supporting the Bird Endowment Nido Adaptivo program. Information is available at the Bird Endowment webpage. If you would like to see blue throated macaws in the wild, see the Armonia webpage on the fantastic Barbasul Nature Reserve where one can see groups of macaws in comfortable accommodations.